What is going on guys and welcome back to a brand new episode here on the channel. This is, I don't know, I lost count guys. This is uh, again a very nice koi pond and garden that I'm visiting here in Switzerland. You saw the guy already in the videos before. Uh, we are here at Philip, his own place. Not the first Philip, but the second Philip. Uh, this is his house and he had got an amazing view, but also a very nice koi pond. Yeah. Hi Philip, thank you so Hi. much for inviting me here at your uh, own house yeah, and uh, what an amazing place you have here. Thanks a lot. That is great. So guys, if you remember Philip, he was in the video of Koi Lounge Zurich of course and also at the uh, place of uh, the other Philip. It was absolutely great to visit them. Now we are at his place here in uh, Switzerland and before we go see the pond, look at this view. Imagine sitting here next to your koi pond and having this view. So, Philip, well, I don't know where to start. It looks amazing, man. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how old is the pond? Where did you start? Uh, please tell me everything. Yeah, I mean, when we bought the house, uh, it was in construction. So I was lucky to, to build the, the pond straight away. So the pond is uh, now three years old. Um, we did that in combination with the, with the house and yeah, I'm quite happy. Yeah. I did some changes with the f filtration system to have the, the water as clear as it is now. That's great. And I mean, every pond is still a work in progress, so you change some things, but I'm quite happy as it is now. So. Yeah, it's, and we are lucky also with the weather today, so everything yeah. looks pretty, pretty nice. And even without the, with the sun, it's uh, it's looking very cool. There is something special because what is below us, and what is there? <laughs> <laughs> below us is the garage, so I just had the space over there, and the pond starts like 50 cm after the garage, so I didn't have much more space to to build a pond, so that's uh, basically what I had, and I used everything. You used everything, and you did a pretty good job on it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> How big is the, the pond? Because it's I think it's around 40, 50? 40, 43, something around that. I see already one bottom drain. Uh, I have two, sorry, two bottom drains. Two bottom drains, one side drain, and uh, one skimmer. Exactly. So it's uh, four pipes to the filtration system and then we got i don't know how many koi i stopped counting but i think they are <laughs> well yeah. you probably know how much they are uh, no i don't but it must be like 50. i want to reduce some to get rid of some in order to have a little bit more space in here as they're growing but i like a lot of koi that's, so. uh, that's really cool so the funny thing that I really like about this, well, it's not funny, but the thing I really like about this pond is that all the details are worked out very well. It's not only the, the, the pond and the koi, but also, also the details, the stones and everything you used in the garden. So who designed the garden? Did you do it by yourself? I did it, yeah. Great. I love it. So I mean, basically the stones are Swiss stones as, as they are available in Switzerland. And uh, in order of the trees, I have some, some red pine from Japan. Um, the one here is an ordinary uh, European pine, uh, Silvestris, or yeah, Tunberti, uh, Japanese black pine yeah. over there. Um, so it's a little bit a mix and uh, oxaleas as well. So a combination of what is available in Switzerland and in Europe and uh, Japanese trees. So it's like my interpretation of a Japanese <laughs> style garden, you know. Well, it worked out well, so that's good. What I really like also is that you have a lot of gosanka in this pond. Yeah, I love gosanka. Why? <laughs> I just love it, you know. I, th I th think um, there's nothing better than a summer evening when the sun is going down and, and the pond is really dark and you have that red and the white so it, it looks really impressive so and yeah 
for, for me, that's the, the type of a Japanese garden. Wow, wonderful. So I always ask this question to everyone. What was your first koi and what is your favorite koi? A first koi, I don't remember actually. <laughs> you know, I have koi um, in, I started in 1998. So a long wow. time ago. So this is your second pond? No, in, in the meantime, my third. As we moved, you know, so I, ha I had to build other ponds, you know. Um, favorite type is Kohaku, all the Gosanke. They, they always have uh, advantages. A Kohaku will may maybe will get some shimi. When a Shova has a shimi, you don't see it. So. So it's true. a little bit easier, and um, but I think Sanke is a great variety and very difficult to breed as well. And I don't, I, I like Sanke a lot, as they're elegant, you know. Lovely, yeah, that's that's so true. We just spoke about the bottom drains. We got the skimmer over here. Where did you leave the filtration system? Where is it? <laughs> it's it's hidden. It's just it's around hidden, the corner. But it's not not that finished you know no worries i think the people <laughs> at home will see that and they will yeah, probably I love just, it when you i just changed the wood you know so before before we go to the filtration yep. system this is something we also saw at uh, phillips's place yeah it's different but it looks so clean yeah i mean it's a it's an air pipe i don't know how to to explain it really with with little holes in it it's two meters long and I think uh, it just gives um, a great direction of the, of of the, the water flow. flow. And, and it doesn't look that big, you know. Like it's, not, it's not creating a crater yes, of air. Yes, the normal air stones yeah, that people just it's throw a little bit in the middle of their pond and then just yeah, keep it going. It's a little bit more discreet. So I like it. Okay, so then we have the filtration system over here. You just yeah, below here is a drum filter and was a drum filter. That's below this part. Yeah, that's below yep. here. And then I have, um, as I said, it's not finished. So no, I worries, have to no, put worries, no worries, no worries, no worries. A koi pond and garden is never finished. Yeah, <laughs> especially if you want to change uh, and make things more perfect after a while. But I can open it up. It's a um, it's a bio tower filled with um, helix as well and I have a water flow of around 50,000 liters so it's a lot and that makes uh, the water really clear in the end so that's yeah, so the you, secret yeah you got one or two pumps two you got two pumps yeah. yes two of each uh, 30,000 liters okay. so I guess um, more or less uh, 50,000 liters will arrive here that is amazing. And also here you can see how important it is to have a good filtration system. Use all the space you can, can use to uh, install a proper biofilter. Uh, and that's so important because this koi pond is so clear. There are a lot of fish in there, but it's even with all those fish in there, it's so clear. And that's uh, what I really, really like. So, um, well, cool. All right, uh, thank you uh, so much uh, again, uh, Philip, for having me here. Thank you uh, for coming. Uh, yeah, you, uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, and uh, you got a really, really nice place here. Thanks a lot. Okay.